morning guys i know my my camera is going to be moving around here but i have to do this video real quick as i'm walking to my car to go to work to pe prepare my day i hope you guys are going to have a wonderful day it's all up to you remember that this is going to be the telltale signs okay um listen there's a lot of married men out here married men out here married woman i could only talk about the men okay that's what i want to talk about right now but we know that women get down and dirty as well and there's a lot of people that say and it's true some people disguise themselves they hide behind religion uh titles or whatever else they want to hide behind um but as far as the married people out here respect your marriage have some dignity respect um you, you, if you're married and you're playing games, you are going to run into a horrific uh, person that is going to destroy your life because not everybody play games and not everybody like people playing games with them. Anyway, telltale signs, guys. Take your time dating out here because you have a lot of married people looking for adventure, looking for excitement. And you are their targets. Okay? They like playing games. They probably bored in their marriage. And they need a little excitement. You know, they need their heart pumping. And sometimes, I don't condone this, but they end up in a body bag. Because they like to play so much games. Anyway. Um, sometimes, oh, I hope, the, I hope they didn't block me. Sometimes they hide their married rings. Some of them take it off, but if a person is wearing a lot of rings, you may not pay attention to it. But ladies, look down on that hand, okay? That left um, finger, this one. The one next to your pinky, okay? The one on the left. Look to it. Pay attention to it. Because you might see an engagement ring and a married ring hidden in disguise, okay? Over another ring. You feel me? Pay attention. Um, go online, put their number in, phone number, put their name in, make sure you get their real name, not Crazy Larry, but their real name, do a search, you'll get the address, you'll get everything about them, just let your fingers do the walking, I know Yellow Pages do it, uh, People Finders do it as well, there is married people out here seeking excitement and seeking for who they could kill, steal and destroy. They do not tell you the truth. They are liars, and I mean extreme liars. And they are out here for the games. If you're a person that play a game, it's up to you if you want to do that, but your soul will go to hell, honey. Um, adultery is no joke, and it's a strike, basically, on your soul that cause generational curses, not only onto you, but onto your children. Children, children. I gotta come and tell you all this morning when you lay down and defile somebody's married bed I know people don't care these days but it ain't no joke honey and I know people don't believe in God but let me get let me get in my car got my coffee ready everything gotta come talk to you guys man because the games are real out here and especially when they are hiding behind religion you probably think this person is a good person, so you kind of trust them a little bit because they're wearing the religious hat. No, no, no. Like I said yesterday, guys, they are only human. And I don't know why people think that people hiding behind religion are so this and so that. They should be, but not everybody is walking in integrity as it relates to religion. And I'm here to tell you the truth because my walk is real, honey. I'm trying to get through those pearly gates. Like I said, a lot of people don't believe. But just, what if? Oh, God. Y'all seeing the realness right now. Just what if? Consider what if. There's a hell, honey. I don't want to go there. Okay? I do not want to go there, okay? 
The Bible gives you the basic instructions. And guess who's trying to follow it? Got my little stuff for the day, you know, my banana. Bring, did you guys bring your own food to work? Got my Jamaican bun. Woohoo! You know what I'm saying? Got my roll for breakfast. I'm going to be talking. I can't leave my Pepsi. Sorry, guys. Don't drink soda. I'll get better with that. I will get better with that. When you bring your own food, you don't have to eat out. You know, keep eating out like that. All right, so I prepare my little food so I can eat. I have a long ride, guys. A very, very my, my ride for work is going to take about 45 minutes to oh, an hour based on traffic. And I do not rush. I never rush. I get to my destination safe and sound with the help of God. So anyway, for, for real though, little telltale signs, you know, you can't go to this person's house. Why not? But they want to run to your house. Ladies, do not entertain these men in your house. If they don't, they, them, them, don't, them don't live nowhere. Them don't live nowhere. Listen, they got to have a destination to take you and not the hotel either. And not their friend house and not their mother house. Because let me tell you, their mother, their parent, their family, back them up, honey. They know about the cheatation. You're not the only female that they do this with. It's a regular occurrence, and they all with the game. It's a game. You are in the game. You gotta be wise. Oops, got an apple. Look, I got my apple, right? And I couldn't even leave it in my car in fear that they were breaking my car because they see this red shiny um, thingy. Um, <clears throat> so guys, be careful, please. Lots and lots of game players out here. They love it. They're lustful. They're going to come and tell you sweet words. Watch out for those things. Words. Forget about the words. Look at the action. Their action. Their action. Not the words. This one. Too much black today. Even in the winter. I have to wear glasses. So time for me to buy some glasses by the way I will be selling them if you guys like I will be selling glasses and I will be selling my oils so make sure you guys support I do have bags my brand bags roses resources they are up and running it's $20 one say queen the other says namaste okay So, um, just tell, tell sign guys, you know, they want to meet your kids because they want to bond with you. They want to get to the, and, and if they especially want to try to have sex with you fast, nip it in the butt. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. There should be no sex before a marriage. I can see why people don't want to get married these days. Because if you have everybody playing games, they want to get married for the title, for the name's sake, right? They want to get married for the name's sake, but they don't respect their marriage. They're out with their side chick and their side dudes. Uh, they treat them like, they treat them nice, you know what I'm saying? But they treat the wife and the husband like crap. You're in the house slaving for these people. You understand? I'm not saying every husband, and I'm not saying every wife. But that's the, I guess it's the trend that these people are trying to follow. It's getting worse and worse out here. It's, it's terrible. It's like people walking around with just lust in their heart. Like, what is wrong? How much sex can you get? Is that all you're living for? It's just so gross, guys. I don't want a fleshy relationship. I don't want... I'm going to tell you guys all the time that sex is beautiful. Sex is a worship to God as well. Sex is a worship to God. Oh, this big, big old truck. But it was going to turn but. Sex is a worship to God, guys. That's one of the ways to worship. You know, when you go to church, I ain't clap and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I rebuke that. It's like he was coming over my lane, honey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. I see them. I see them. I see them. Gotta know how to read the traffic, you know? <sighs> yeah. So, they're just out here 
why lust, 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 want to play games, want to have a, uh, extra sex. The thing about people that is lustful, that's scary for me because I'm a victim of child sex molestation. And you know these people groom their victims. And if they do it to you, they'll do it to your children. And I need you guys to hear me. I hate those things on the car. It's so annoying. I don't know why you want to, like a bullet sound, like a gunshot sound on your car. I know you're young and stuff, but oh God. Something spilled off of one of the trucks. That's why when you guys are driving, stay one car left behind the car because you don't know what could happen. There's an accident you want to spin out of it real quick, you know? Just like you want to spin out of that relationship. When you first get into a relationship and you see the red flags waving real high, get out and get out now. Don't wait. You don't need to fix nobody. That's up to God to fix the person, not you. You are not a fixer. fixer. You are not Jesus, honey. You can't fix a broken person. can't give them enough hammer sheet, enough sex, enough items, enough anything you're doing for them in this earth. You can't give them enough. They have to go fill that womb. They have to go talk to God. They have to fix their childhood womb. And you know what? One thing the pandemic did was reveal people. It's like, a, it's like a, you know, like when you're watching a play, and the shade was on and it's like somebody just pulled the curtain of people's lives you saw the real them even though if they were trying to hide it that you can't hide it no more because we're in, we are in the times of awakening so any little flaws any little bad habit any little mental illness any little thing in the person's life you are going to see it now oh no we're not doing this this morning Lots and lots of traffic. I haven't took this way. Oh wow. It was way to a lot of traffic all day. I haven't took this way in a long time, but I'm gonna take it this morning because thank God I got options. Like you got options in those relationships that you're trying to savor. Trying to fix, trying to resurrect. Mm -mm. I would I would suggest anyone these days to just work on themselves, work on you. And if a nice relationship comes, sure, you could go out, you could date people and everything, but I don't feel like dating require you bearing your soul to someone, removing your clothes, having sex with them, for what? Is that is your body not your temple? Do you just wanna just have casual sex with people just because? Sample my item, sample my item, for what? What is the point? That's what I want to know. Please, guys. Am I just old school? Help me out here. That's crazy. I'm not even really asking y'all because I know I'm not old school. Not with people that got value and integrity and respect for themselves. And that's another thing. If a, if a man or woman don't respect themselves, respect their body, respect their legacy put some respect on their family name you know what i mean how are they going to respect you if all they saw growing up was um cheating lying games do you think they're going to be respectful to you no that's another thing you need to get into family structure you need to find out very much so about the family ask some questions on how he grew up how he see his mother how was the relationship between his mother and his father? Go up, go all up in his childhood. Go all up in there. You guys have the right there in your space. Find out. These are the questions you need to ask. How do they treat their last partner? Why do they break up? Huh? Yeah. Stuff like that. Watch out for the words that these people use, like word salad and calling you crazy. Like when that red flag is, is waving high, pay attention. Okay, pay attention. Do they go to school? Are they interested in education? Uh, continuing education. 
whether that means keep on reading books to educate themselves, updating themselves, taking a class. When is the last time you upgraded and invested in yourself? These things are important other than sex, other than just fornicating all over the place. When is the last time you invested in yourself, in your growth? Have you taken a vacation? What? Where did you go? Did you just go to another bar or did you get on a plane? Have you ever got on a plane? How far have you went on a train? How far did you went on a plane? Did you ever go to an international country? Are you well-traveled? Are you prejudiced? Do you know how to communicate with other races? Are you open or are you closed off? Is your heart closed off? Listen, ladies, when you go to them, that they, their house, make sure um, if you see any feminine energy in there, yeah, pay attention to that because his wife might be at work or on a vacation or on a business trip. Pay attention. And if you know that man is married, do not go to his house because if you trespass, that lady or that man could come in there and do whatever they want to do to you. Whether you think you're big, bad, or bold, or whatever, anything could happen. Okay? Don't play games with people. Don't play games. Because although you think you might be the winner, you might you, you might buck up on the right one that did there. Okay? When I'm passionate, I like to talk in Jamaican. In Patois. Yeah, you might buck up on the right one. You might meet a Hercules, honey. Hercules, Hercules. Yeah, you might meet a Goliath. Wanna slay you. Okay? I don't conduct, I, I don't condone violence, but you never know when crime or passion happen. You know what I'm saying? And uh, watch out when he has his kids coming around you for you to meet, because people use their kids as well. These married men and women, they use their kids to get in with you. Isn't that horrible? They're looking for a step. Are they looking for a step parent, but they're already in a whole marriage? Don't fix nobody. Don't try to be the in, in between person. If if him and his wife are not getting along, let him either work it out or get a divorce and then come back and talk to you. I'm telling you, don't get in no mess because you'll be in the next mess. And you know what he's gonna say to you? Yeah, you knew all about it. You like playing games. So this is the game plan you get. What can you say to that man? Nothing, because you like playing games. Don't play games with people. Again, the family is with it. It's so much I can say on this, but um, I'm not gonna keep this video long, guys. Don't be nobody's mistress. What do they call the men? Side dude, that's what I hear them calling them now. But listen, there's a lot of men out here also that like to be the side dudes. They love it because they don't want the responsibility. They just like the games. They like to be the, the person's fantasy. But when the roles ret return and uh, the spouse leave, there you go. Welcome to my world. Now, your position have to be filled. Okay? Because you must understand that when you're sitting next to that person and they're playing games with their wife or husband and you're smiling, this is the person you're getting for real, for real. Because you might, you might go in there just for a little fun, but you might end up with this person. Remember what they did to their, la the, their last partner. Remember that, because your turn is coming, okay? You need somebody with integrity, but it's okay. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Everybody's different, right? I want no parts of it. Um, please drop it in a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But the, you know you meet Tyrone's on the street all the time. Tyrone, come over in the mid mid wee wee hours of the morning to, to quench your lustful thirst. You know? He's in these streets, he's in these bed sheets, honey. She's in these bed sheets. She know what to do, honey, to turn up the volume on your lust. Okay? But how much lust can you have? But because sooner or later, that person will be bored to you too. You have to fill it because it's a hole you're trying to fill. And over and over again. Oh my God, no matter how good, no matter what tricks these people play, you're gonna need to be filled again when the when you start feeling um, like you start feeling thirsty for more lust, more lust, more lust, because it's so huge that you cannot fill it. It's, 
and, and then when you finish having sex with this person, remember, you're at the height of pleasure. But when it's finished, you just look at the person like, ugh, you're sitting on the end of the bed and you're like feeling disgusted. Huh? That is not a feeling feeling. It's a disgusting feeling. You feel disgust with yourself. And then it starts all over again and again and again. But I tell you, Jesus could fill up your soul, honey. Run to the throne. Because nobody's going to do you like him. He'll fill, up your, he'll fill up your wounds, I tell you that. And when you start walking with God, he's going to show you things. You're going to see... Um, <laughs> You're gonna see all the red flags flying so high, so, so very high. You're gonna be like, wow, I didn't see that. But when you go and you ask God, he, he'll even reveal these people in, in a dream. He'll reveal them and it's not fake, guys. Your dreams are not fake. It's just for you, when you get a dream, you go ask God, what does this dream mean? You ask him specifically, show me whatever you want, want him to show you, he's gonna show you guys. Come on now. It's a natural world, guys, and it's a spiritual world as well. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principality. And these demons, these devils will come into your life to totally destroy it, especially when they know you're young, gifted, and blessed, and you are a chosen one, especially. You got something, every one of us have something on earth that we came here to do. And when your gift is heightened, when your gift is special, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have a lot of fights. A lot, a lot, a lot of fights. Okay, so I'm trying to see if that's all I could wrap up in this video, but as the Holy Ghost speak to my soul, you know, speak to me so I can speak to you guys and deliver this message that there's a lot of married men. Like in September, guys, I want you to know that in the whole month of September, especially going towards the end, you guys must be very vigilant, be very, very careful. The demons are out here at the height in September. Okay? Be, 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 be careful. Be, 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 be careful out here. And if you are in a relationship, you should be attentive to your partner and everything. But remember, your partner is not an idol. Your partner is not God. Work on yourself if you're in a relationship, if you're in a marriage. If you're not working, if you don't have a purpose in that marriage, I suggest you read books, you go back to school, you get a career, you work on your gift. If you don't want to go work for somebody, you, worked on, you work on your gift. So when that person decides to get up and leave because every seven years, people change. And when they change up on you, you're ready because you invested in yourself. And you know exactly what to do because God had a plan for you. Okay? Always be on ready, guys. And also learn, learn to detach. My last relationship taught me that I will never get attached to somebody like that again. Our places, people, our things. I will know how to detach. To detach quick, fast, and in a hurry. Especially when you see those red flags. It's not those... I'm not saying second chances are not good, but not when, the, not when the red flags are waving high. Believe what you see. Don't doubt yourself. Trust your guts. Trust your intuition. It never failed me yet. It never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Everywhere I go, I need the world to know Jesus Christ never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Never. I could truly say that. I don't know what your faith is or what you believe, but you got to trust it, honey. You're never alone in this life. Never alone. When your partner take you for granted, when they don't know your self-worth, you got to know your self-worth. You got to walk with confidence. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that you're strong. Whether you have kids or not, whether you gain weight or not, whether whatever it is, whether you're sick coming out of sickness and he left because he can't deal with it, he only wants you in good times. Why would you want to be with this person? 
huh? For better and for worse is what it says in my marriage vow. For better or for worse, for sickness and in death. And these days, people toy around with that. People spit on that and think it's a joke out here. But that's okay, they could play in the natural world, honey, but there's something going on in the background. And what that something is, especially the consequences when it comes to adultery and fornication, there's consequences and you will reap what you sow. You are gonna reap it. So if you're married and you're out here playing games with people, remember, if you're listening to this video, you will reap what you sow when you treat your gift that God gave you, which is your wife. She is your favor and your helper. Okay? And when you spit on her, you will reap what you sow. And when you treat your husband like crap, you will reap what you sow. What you put out is what you're going to get in. What you reap is what you sow. You want to call it karma. There is a spiritual law. Did I just say it? Ephesians. Um... 6.12, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principality in high places, okay? Cover yourself in the garments, in the spiritual shield of God, and his shields that he gives you, like the Bible. Put on the full armor of God, Ephesians 6.11, the full armor, protect yourself, protect your family, protect your legacy. Do not cheat, I'm telling you guys, I'm just coming here to tell you guys, because some people don't know, they just think they living in the natural world. I didn't know as well. When I was in the world, I was out here thinking it's sweet, thinking it's a game. But there's spiritual law and there's consequences in the spiritual law. I'm not talking about signing on divorce paper. I'm not talking about that. Because Moses was the first one that gave you the that gave the husband the right to divorce his wife if he threw her away by 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 sleeping with another woman. Moses gave that right in the commandments that he could sign a certificate of divorce. I'm talking about in the spiritual realm. When, when you guys are getting divorced, you must divorce your husband in the spirit as well because you're thinking you divorced him and you did not. You're still covered under the covenant of God. You got to take it in the spiritual. You got to pray over that marriage. You got to ask God to detach your soul from your husband if you are getting a divorce or if, you are, if the divorce has been complete. Once he lay down with another woman, he defiled your bed, your marital bed. So you ask God to break that soul tie, which is the covenant, because you're one flesh and you are ripping apart of the flesh. And it hurts. That's why divorce hurts so badly, guys. Enough is enough said. I'm just telling you guys, this thing is not a joke. It really, really isn't a joke out here. Take your life seriously, because... Guys, the sad thing about it, people have been warned, right? I got to go in a little while. And they take it like for a joke, right? They take this whole marital walk for a joke. Anybody getting married right now, do not get married if you're not ready to be committed. Marriage is not a game. It's, it's not an easy walk in the park. Okay? And it's for life. Marriage is for life. Because, did you know, even though if you get divorced, your first wife, guys, your first husband... It's your wife or your husband until death. I know people are not going to agree. Go, go read the book of Matthew. Marriage was designed forever. Okay, so even if you're divorced, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you divorce some paper, that don't mean nothing. In the law of the land is what I'm talking about. In the spirit, you need to go to God. Plead your case to him. Only if it was adultery in the marriage. Plead your case to him and ask him to break that soul tie to rip your flesh apart. Moses gave you that right. Okay? You go talk to God yourself on your situation. Okay? I'm just I'm just trying to share with you guys the information that I learned. You might know more as well. We all here to learn. We are a body of Christ and we are all here to learn. So if you have information that I don't, please drop it down here and make sure you leave the scriptures as well. I'm sending you to the book of Matthew and to the book of Proverbs, especially Proverbs 5. Matthew 5, 32. All right, it talks about adultery in there. You guys can go read it. Oh, what is going on this morning with all this traffic? 
Um, I know this video is long, guys, but ooh, that's a beer missile this morning. But seriously speaking, life is very unpredictable. And you never know what's going to happen to you. So my suggestion is live your life in a rightful way, in a respectful way, in a spiritual way. So when you get sickness, not that you should wait for sickness or death, right? You shouldn't. You should walk. Time is so precious, guys. You should not waste one minute of your time by just fornication. You are not your penis and you are not your vagina. Okay? You are worth so much more than that. Don't you know God brought you with a price? Okay? So, work on yourself. Stop working on your penis and your vagina and seeing who you could deceive. Because there's seven things that God hates. I don't remember all of them um, out of the top of my head. But I know lying and deceit is one. Divorce is one. Lying tongue people uh, deceiving and talking badly. Bad things about their neighbors. Gossiping. It's seven things. Go Google it. But make sure you get it from the Bible. There's seven things that God hates. And those are some of it. Don't wait until you're on your deathbed. Don't wait until you get sick and then you're crying out to God. And saying, help me, help me, because you don't want your soul to go to hell forever. Hell is real, okay? Okay, I want to be sitting next to the right hand of God, honey. In that little narrow path. In those pearly gates, I'm trying to get up in there. We're not perfect, but we're trying to live the best life that we can. Okay? Treating our neighbors as we would like uh, to be treated. But you see what that, 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 that talk right there? Treating our neighbors as we want to be treated. What if you treat yourself horrible? What if you don't trust yourself? What if you lie to yourself? What if you treat yourself unkind? Then that's how you're going to treat your neighbor. Okay? So many things that we learned, guys, we have to unlearn. This is why I'm trying to tell you, you got to update yourself. It's okay to read. Read books. Get better with self. Come on. Come on, baby. Learn, 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 please, learn. Life is ever, ever, life is for you to ever, 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 ever be learning out here. Life do not stop. Every day, so beautiful to take a breath. Guys, breathe in. Breathe out and remind yourself why you got up every day. Thank God for the breath. I do this, I do this. I do this every now and then, guys, when I remember. When I breathe in, I say, thank God for getting me up this day. I will not waste it. I will not waste it, God. I thank you for allowing me to be here one more day. What do you want me to accomplish today? Please put me in the path of righteous people that is walking the right path. Put me in the path of people that's going to build me up and not tear me down. Put me in the path of people that could strengthen me and I can learn from. Put me in the path of righteousness. And let me remember, God, that although people, I could deceive them, but I must remember that I cannot deceive you because you are the all-seeing eyes. You understand me? You are the all-seeing eye. And guys, before I go, remember, I know a lot of people look up to celebrities, but they all live in a lie. They live in a lie, allegedly. They all live in a lie, guys. They're probably crying right now, crying out because their soul is so dark. They're lying because they're used like puppets to deceive us all. Okay? That's why when you see some of them start speaking out they try to tear them down the government try to tear them down because they, 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 they talking they don't want them to tell us good news they don't want them to be truthful guys do you like Candace uh, what is her name I love uh, Candace Owens I love this particular person Candace Owens she is the truth I love her I love her speech I love that she stands she has integrity that girl she is like a truth serum, that girl. She speaks from the soul, man. That's what I love about that little young girl. So young and have so much wisdom. 
very wise young lady. Very, very, very wise. I love, I love what she stands for. I really love her. Candace Owen. She, 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 she's like a logical thinker, you know? She's good, she's good people. That's one of my favorite person out there. But when these people are showing you their fake life and you say, wow, this is who I aspire to be like, I haven't taken this way in a long time and I'm kind of like hoping that I can remember the exits to take. Anyway, I gotta go right now, guys, to concentrate on this road, but please leave your comments. Sorry that the video was so long, but that's what I'm gonna wanna talk about this morning. Mm. Have a great day. Leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Be positive. And learn something today. Learn something new from somebody today. Get out of your comfort zone. Don't worry about a man or a woman, honey. Instead, upgrade yourself. You won't, fa you won't fail you. And God definitely won't fail you. Guys, have a great day, okay?